This is Svartengi, a geothermic power plant here in the southwest of Iceland. Aside from generating electricity and, and heat, it actually has probably a more interesting and more known industrial waste byproduct because as a part of the process of generating the geothermic uh, power, it spews out these lakes and puddles of very silica-rich water which accumulate in the area. And people, tourists especially, queue up for miles for the privilege of paying huge prices of bathing in these puddles under the brand name The Blue Lagoon. But back to its role as a geothermic power plant, because it is one. And in this short video, I just want to quickly address a spreading myth about geothermal power in Iceland. Iceland is geothermically powered. Geothermal energy is the main source in Iceland. Maybe this is some sort of a confirmation bias on, on my behalf, but I seem to be seeing this all over the place in foreign news outlets, from travel vloggers, anybody. People seem to be claiming that Iceland is actually fueled, powered by geothermic energy sources. While we do have geothermic power plants like Svartengisvirkjun, saying that we are claiming that we are actually geothermically powered is wildly inaccurate because the reality is quite far off. A little less than 30% of our electricity production in Iceland is actually coming from geothermic sources. Some negligible, neg negligible amount comes from wind sources and even fossil fuels. But the vast majority, over 70%, is from hydroelectric power plants. And while geothermic may be on the rise in the past few years and decades, hydroelectric is here to stay at least for the near future. Now this misunderstanding of course might rise from the claim that Iceland has green energy, which of course is true because the hydroelectric power plants are green, they, are, they do not spew out carbon emissions while generating energy, so they are carbon footprint free or neutral or whatever you want to call it, once built. Well, the production of energy itself in an already constructed hydroelectric power plant, of course, is carbon emission free. But these are vast construction projects, so saying that they have no impact on nature would be absolutely incorrect. Huge amounts of land, sometimes containing some natural gems, have been sunk, especially in the Icelandic highlands, to create these, to, to you know, dam rivers and create these artificial reservoirs for the hydroelectric plants to work. On a list of the 10 largest lakes in Iceland, half of them, including the largest one, Thorisvat, are artificial reservoirs created for the electrical power production and they already cover over 300 square kilometers of land up in the highlands. Now, I think it, I would be fine with you know, the, the side effects of this if the fact was that we were trying to produce readily available cheap energy for the, for the masses or using it to fuel other green sources like local food production, those kind of things, but that's not the case. It's mainly used to attract foreign investor in, interests in high energy consumption industry like aluminium smelting and those kind of things which kind of counterproducts the whole idea of, of being green in terms of energy sources. Well, that's the situation. Yes, Iceland has geothermic power plants, but only as a small portion of its energy output. The majority is created by hydroelectric power plants. So the next time somebody claims that Iceland is geothermically powered, you can wiggle your finger at them and correct them. And oh, don't we just love correcting people on the internet. Thanks for watching. Please make full use of the facilities below. Hit the like, subscribe and all these kind of things. Share the video around and, and spread the message. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one.